Hi there. I'm a couple of hours into Saturday's afternoon racing. I thought I'd do a quick video of uh, a pace map selection. I'm not going to show you how I'm making those selections, uh, but I'll let you see one of the races in action. Uh, there's a variety of reasons for that. First of all, what I'm doing here, what I'm investigating here, it's very early days, although it's showing great promise. But if I showed you exactly how to do it, and that promise transpired to be very good long term, it, everyone would start doing it, and quite frankly, I think the value would disappear. What I have done, though, however, in the description below, there's a link to a previous video I did uh, that use the pace maps and how uh, you might want to go about selecting based on those pace maps. Uh, there's enough clues in that video to, to point you in the right direction, um, but I'll leave it up to you to play around with that and uh, see how you get on. In the meantime, you'll see that uh, the races I've covered so far, in between some really shockingly bad races at... Uh, Ascot in particular, where the fields are very, very small. I've ignored those. Uh, but you can see here, after uh, six races, uh, profit's been really good. Um, the first race in particular, uh, that was a great one in that the eventual winner came tearing through right at the very end. Uh, and that's why there's a really big uh, profit on that one, a greened up profit even though I've been greening up for £30. Uh, so the next race I'm going to show you in action. Uh, I've already made my selections. They are Night Battle and The Beautiful Game. Uh, we've got 11 minutes to go, uh, so uh, I'll skip ahead and place those bets just before the off. Okay, we're coming up for the uh, start of the race. They're currently loading. I'll wait till the off time and place the uh, the uh, Dutch. So let's just load up the Dutching tool. Event start time. And uh, it was Night Battle and the beautiful game that I'm interested in. So we're at the start of time, they're busy loading, so we'll just click on Submit for that. And uh, we'll wait for the race to start and see how we get on. So as I said, I'll post a link uh, down below with a, a, a reference to a video I did a couple of weeks back, I think it is now, uh, that used pace maps, and you can use that as your starting point. Uh, the other thing to note is, if you look at these results and some of the screenshots that I've shown you before, you'll see that generally speaking, these things green up. Now that green up for your target green up profit, in this case £30, generally happens in the first half of the race. The higher your green up target, the longer in the race that you'll have to wait. Um, but if you've made your selections properly, usually you'll find it greening up uh, in, the, in the first half. However, as a little clue to your selection process, um, when you get these big ones here, that's when a runner has come through right at the end in the last furlong, and odds have dropped very quickly. So it triggers the green up process, but by the time that uh, trigger bet has been placed into the market, the odds have dropped still further, so you get a better price. Um, so that may be a clue that you not don't necessarily need to look for front runners in the market thing about a front runner is that everybody and his dog knows that that horse is a front runner. And consequently, and there's another trade out before half time. Um, and consequently, that runner, that front runner may not necessarily drop in price drastically in the first half of the race. Whereas if you look for a front runner that is actually fancied in the market, then that may be an option. But equally, a hold-up horse who is also fancied in the market, i.e. fancied to win, his price, unless something untoward happens to him, um, will tend to hold true or shorten slightly in the first half of the race. 
But the great thing about these hold-up horses is they tend to make their move towards the end of the race. So if you can hold your nerve, you will end up getting these types of results rather than the target profit that you're looking for. And lo and behold, Knight of Battle has won. Woohoo! So that's one of the picks, has won the race by the looks of things. And there you go. So again, <laughs> this is showing remarkable, remarkable consistency. So as I say, I'm not prepared to sh give you the detailed ins and outs of what I'm doing. Um, but the link below will give you clues as to how you go about doing it. Okay, I'll catch you later. I'm just going to carry on as I'm doing. Cheers.